Hi everyone and very much welcome to this presentation. I hope you're all doing great this wonderful Friday. My name is Madeleine Hekela, environmental engineer, and this is my colleague. Yes, my name is Carl Sidequist and I'm an analytics developer. We are former graduates representing Volvo Group. Before we move on, I'd like you all to take a second. When you hear Volvo Group, what comes to mind? Well, surprise, we do not make cars. It's a very common misunderstanding. However, we do pretty much everything else transportation-wise. You can find us on the road, off-road, in the city, and at sea. We offer trucks, buses, construction equipment, power solutions for marine and industrial applications, financing and services for our customers to increase their productivity. To understand the comp contribution we make to modern life, simply imagine how quickly a society would stop functioning without our solutions. The chance that you have a daily dose of Volvo Group is bigger than the risk that you don't. For example, maybe you take a Volvo bus when you go to school, or maybe the food you bought at the supermarket earlier this week was transported by one of our trucks. Or maybe you daily walk in streets that regularly are cleaned by a Volvo refuse truck. Or maybe the school or the hospital in your city, or why not your apartment building, was built by one of our yellow construction machines. Volvo Group is a large global company a house of 12 strong brands, and we employ approximately 100,000 people, and we serve customers in more than 190 markets. That's big. Going from what we do, why do we do it? We shape the world we want to live in, and our mission is to drive prosperity through transport and infrastructure solutions. Our solutions improve the everyday lives of our customers and for the society at large, both today and tomorrow. And looking ahead, the demand for transport and construction will keep growing. And this is triggered by global movements such as increase of the world population, urbanization, globalization, the rise of e-commerce, and digitalization. And we know that this growing demand must be fulfilled in a sustainable and environmental friendly way. This drives us to develop groundbreaking technologies that are vital for next generation of transport solutions, such as automation, electromobility, and connectivity. And we aspire to be leading this transformation within our industry to develop safer, more efficient and more sustainable solutions. But this will require the best brains in the industry and young, passionate minds, just like you. The transport industry has a bright future and this means great development opportunities for the current employees and for future employees. And now when I think of it, with all these major technology changes we have ahead of us, I don't think there's never been a more exciting time to work in the transport industry. So, uh, let's talk about our graduate programs at Volvo Group. But before we do that, we would like to be very transparent with you and say that we don't have any graduate positions to offer you right now. Due to the context of COVID-19, uh, we needed to adapt our business and unfortunately we have put this year's recruitment on hold. And nobody can predict the future, uh, but at Volvo Group we believe it will be bright and that we will have opportunities for you in the future. However, a positive thing about these graduate programs is that you can have two years of working experience. So what you can do now is to work one or two years and then apply to these programs when they become available again. 
So, but let's head to the grad programs. At Volvo Group, we strive to have a grad program for everyone. And currently, we have four different programs. We have the business program, operations program, engineering, and IT. When it comes to the business program, this program is focused on the business side of Volvo. So students with degree in business, marketing, finance, controlling, etc., would find this program interesting. Then we have the operations program. And this program is focused on manufacturing and logistics. So here you will be working with the latest manufacturing technologies within Industry 4.0, for example, and be a part of a group that develops the factories of the future. Then we have the engineering program, and this program is focused on the technology in our products and to develop our products. In this program, from day one, you will be a part of a global product development team working with the latest technologies. And the last, last grad program we have is the IT uh, program. And in this program, you focus on technologies such as automation, digitalization, connectivity, and also developing IT solutions for the whole Volvo group. So we have four very uh, broad and good uh, programs here. So what are the setup then for all these graduate programs? Uh, all of these programs are 12 to 15 months and it's a permanent position from the start. And this is very positive in my point of view. Uh, for me, it was a big relief. It was a sign that the company believed in you, trust in you, uh, and also invest money in you. So it's a really positive thing. In all of these great programs also, you will be a part of a global team. Uh, for example, uh, in the operations program that me and Madeleine went in, uh, we were 20 people uh, from all around the world. Uh, we were people from different sites in Sweden, but also people from Belgium, US, uh, Brazil, Australia, France, etc. So it's a really diverse uh, and global team, which was really fun to work with. Then we also have common weeks. Um, these are the weeks when all the graduates from all around the world come together to one place uh, and to be for one week. Uh, and for example, in these common weeks, you can have different agendas, you can visit different factories, you can visit different departments, you can have certain workshops. For example, me and Madeleine, in one of the common weeks we had, we went to Belgium in Brussels to visit the European Parliament and met up with some Swedish politicians to talk about the transporting industry. Uh, so that was a really cool thing to do. Then we also have the job rotations. Um, a job rotation is where you go by yourself to a new country uh, or to a new site and work for a couple of weeks or months. Uh, and for me, this was one of the most funniest things to do. You, are, you have the possibility to travel to a new country, to live in a new country, and to work with people from a different culture and with different experiences. Uh, for example, uh, me and Madeleine actually both went to uh, Curitiba in Brazil for one month and worked there, which was really interesting. So for me at least, uh, this was really a jumping board for my career. Uh, it was really good when you come from the university and then come to the grad program. It's a really good start to come into Volvo. With this uh, trainee program and graduate program, you get a really holistic view of the whole Volvo group, which was really good to have. What about our lives at Volvo Group? What did I like most about the graduate program? I'd say the massive global network that comes out of it. There is no problem for me giving my girl Fernanda over in Brazil a call whenever I have a question or reach out to my buddy Mark in the US or whenever I go to France, I'm always welcome to visit Marivon and her husband at their house on the countryside. And I mean, I can't go to Gothenburg without spending the evening having dinner and drinking beer with at least one of my former graduate colleagues. And none of this would have been possible without the graduate program, and that's priceless to me. The graduate program also gives a great overview of the big and global company that Volvo is, as Carl told you about. And this can otherwise be hard and take time to obtain. I also really enjoyed this setup with the common weeks where we all get together and, and with the job rotation and the 
personal development coaching that we got and these fun global cross-functional graduate projects that we did. I had very high expectations, but I must admit that they were met. About two weeks or so uh, into the program, I made some very interesting reflections. I realized that a lot of people that starts working for Volvo Group stays with Volvo Group, which speaks for itself. And a lot of those people are in totally different fields or areas or levels compared to where they started. And I think it was our second week, we um, had lunch with some from the top management team. And I sat down next to this guy, Johan, and he told me that he had a background within natural science and chemistry. And he started working within environment, health and safety. But today, he is a senior vice president within HR. And that story really inspired me and made me feel that if I want to do anything else here in this company in the future, that's definitely possible. So, uh, now I'll also share a little bit what I like most about working at Volvo Group. And uh, the first thing for me uh, that I really like about Volvo is our inspiring purpose. At the Volvo, we develop transportation solutions. If we don't have that in the world, the world will eventually shut down. Uh, medicines will not arrive to the hospitals, food will not arrive to the stores, cities will be filled with garbage. So we have a vital part of the society and a vital function of the society. And also by working for Volvo, who is really pushing to improve this sector, is also really motivating. And to be a part of a company that's also pushing to create a safer, cleaner and more environmental friendlier world. So that's really amazing. Another thing, uh, by joining Volvo Group, you're joining a global leading industry player. So you actually feel that you can have a change, make a change to the world. It's not only dreams and talks. Uh, you can actually have an effect on the world because of the size of and position of Volvo. Uh, the other thing uh, that I really like about, uh, about working for Volvo is the innovation part and working with the latest technologies. Uh, we believe this uh, sector will transform immensely in the upcoming years and for example we right now we are working with technologies such as automation self-driving trucks and machines we're working with electrification to electrify our trucks and machines and working with connectivity be able to connect all the trucks and machines around the world and get insights to that and predict the maintenance etc we also work with industry 4.0 to create smart and digital factories for the future. Uh, so it's really interesting. And I, what I really like about it is that I'm part of something new. I'm part of something that's changing. Uh, and that's really motivating. And I think Volvo is in the, at the forefront when it comes to this technology. The third thing that I really like uh, about Volvo is the growth opportunities. Uh, I have a feeling right now that I can work for Volvo my whole life. And uh, that's an amazing feeling to have. Uh, and it's a result of that Volvo is a huge global company. Right now we have 100,000 positions around the world with endless departments. So there's so many opportunities at Volvo Group. Uh, Another thing that I really like about Volvo as well is that we have our own university. So if you want to develop yourself in a new area, if you want to have a new competence or you develop yourself, you can actually take these courses and educate yourself at our own university. And that's a huge benefit. Uh, before we also wrap up this presentation. Uh, I will share a little bit my journey uh, before and after the graduate program. Uh, I started uh, in Luleå 
in the, at the Luleå University of Technology. I studied mechanical engineering and I have a master in operations. Then I applied to the graduate program uh, and I went there for 15 months, which was really fun experience and as a jumping board for my career, as I said. Uh, after that, uh, we had a discussion with my managers and everything, and then we decided to I should continue as a production engineer. And when I worked here, I worked with visualizing and pro analyzing production data, uh, working with IT solutions, which was really fun. But recently, I received a new position uh, as an analytics developer, and I'm responsible for developing advanced analytics uh, at the Skövde plant, uh, which is one of the biggest plants uh, in Volvo Group. Uh, and that's really interesting. I'm also part of a global network in discussing and developing this technology. So it's really fun. So if I should try and summarize this. So if you want to improve the world for future generations, if you want to work with the latest technology and do this with great development opportunities, you should definitely consider this. Now, let's do some questions. Over to you guys. Yes. Um, how many trainees do you take in? Uh, yes, for example, in the operations grad program, you, we take in 20 people, uh, around 20 people, it can differ. But at other programs, I think it, it's uh, 30, around 30. So, um, yeah. Totally 100. Yeah. Ish. What background do you have? Uh, in what area are you working right now? Yeah, you can. I can go first. Yep. Uh, I have a Master of Science in Energy and Environmental Engineering from Karlstad University. And I work as an environmental engineer at the same plant as Karl at the Kovde plant. Uh, so I work with, you can summarize it as trying to um, limit the environmental impact from our operations. Yeah, and uh, I think I said it in my uh, career there, I'm a, I have a background in mechanical engineering and a master in operations. Um, and then also what I'm working with right now is analyzing data, uh, developing this technology with uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, etc. So we can use these algorithms to analyze data and get insights. What kind of technical background is required to apply for the trainee program? What, yeah. we, what we can say is that that's uh, different depending on which program you are applying to. Uh, but what we can say is all the information are at Volvo Group Career. Uh, and there you get all the information about the graduate programs and what prerequisites you need. Yes. And what we can add that since we have very different uh, programs, we have people with very different backgrounds and uh, very different uh, educations mm. as well. Will there be a program starting in August 2021? Uh, no, as, as I said before, uh, unfortunately due to the context of Corona and COVID-19, uh, we have put this year's program on hold or this recruitment on hold. So no, it will not be a program for now. We don't know what will happen, but uh, no, more information will come about that, but right now, no. How do you work with sustainability on a daily basis? We put a lot of effort um, in what we do in the way where we can have the most positive effect by innovating safe and clean and efficient vehicles. We, we have our combustion engine and we know that we are a part of the problem, but we are also a part of the solution. We are putting a lot of work in making the combustion engine more efficient. And alongside with that, uh, all our, our uh, truck engines can be uh, run on HBO1, for example. We're also heavily investigating and investing in uh, alternative energy sources for our vehicles such as electrified vehicles. And alongside with that, apart from the combustion engine and electrified vehicles, we're also looking into fuel cell technology, as well as 
um, other services that can make our vehicles more efficient and therefore more sustainable. But we also put a lot of work in our supply chain. And last year, 2019, we updated and strengthened our sustainable purchasing program and also our supplier uh, code of conduct that all, our fi all of our 51,000 suppliers must follow. And we are, of course, as a part of my job, also work a lot with uh, limiting the environmental impact from our own operations when it comes to energy saving projects and, and limit the emissions and improve our circularity. And we, ha we have some, um, some big production sites that are front runners when it comes to carbon neutrality or zero waste to, to landfill. And we also have a lot of this information on our website, volvogroup.com. You can also read about what we do connected to the sustainable development goals, for example. Nice. Uh, what is Volvo's strongest core values and how do you feel that the company is living them? We have our core values. We know them by heart. It's customer success, trust, passion, performance and change. And I must say that during this pandemic, I think that Volvo Group really got the chance to put this into action. I felt really um, safe in the way that Volvo care about their employees. With this partial layoff and working from home and all these strict guidelines we have within our premises. And we've also been giving back to the society. I think almost everyone have had the chance to do some voluntary work. And me, myself, I was working in the Skövde factory um, with making these protective visors for the healthcare industry. Yeah, and I can also take one the core value change. I really believe that uh, we are really pushing uh, to change, to make a change to the world, but also to change our products and processes and technologies. So uh, that's a core value that I really like uh, about Volvo to make really make a change. Do you need to be a master's student to join the trainee program? Is a bachelor's degree sufficient? I think we should have the same answer here. Or? Mm -hmm. That same. it's different depending uh, on the program and the situation. And the specific role that you will apply for. Yep. So it's not necessary. And there's always, even if it says a master, you can always apply. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good recommendation. Yeah. Always apply. What possibilities at Volvo do you get after finishing the graduate program? Uh, I can start there. Uh, what uh, the structure or the what do you call it? Uh, how you do it is that you have a discussion with your manager about it. Uh, it's totally up to you and your manager and also maybe with some help from the trainee program. But I would say it's up to you, you and your manager to decide where you should work after the graduate program and what you feel, both feel, Volvo and you feel that it's best for you to work. So uh, I would say you can really discuss it and it's very open. And I can continue on. I think the dialogue is very good both with the manager, but also with the program managers. And I think Volvo um, highly values their graduates and uh, want to make sure that they want to take care of them as well. So if you have an ambition or anything, don't, don't hold it in then because the possibilities are there, definitely. Yep. Being a newly graduate engineer, can I start my career at Volvo without the trainee program? Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. The, yeah. Hey, of course you can. What would be your best advice while applying for the Volvo Group? Yeah. We, um, on what we said before, dare to apply. Absolutely. And. Uh, be yourself. 
I think that's the best advice that we can give. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Just go for it, have the courage to apply. Yeah. From my experience, I had also some uh, <laughs> some problems sometimes when, oh my god, the, this, uh, this position looks advanced or something. I don't have the prerequisites for it, but just go for it. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. Uh, exactly. Hi, what are the opportunities for graduates in business, marketing or economics? Yes, uh, so we actually have uh, created a new graduate program. Uh, as I said before, it's a business program. Uh, so this program is focused on then business, marketing and economics. So that's the program uh, you should have, or you should go to. And we, we could also add that in our operations program, we had Jonathan, who is a business controller. And also uh, Valerie has a degree in economics. So it, it suggested to the position, so you could definitely scan the programs, but in general, it is the business program. Yeah, uh, it's a, a good, good point from Madeleine, because you can have these business positions in all of the graduate programs. So really go into uh, what type of positions they have put out, so then you can see if there are any business marketing or economics in it. Can you describe the different steps in the recruitment process? Um, we can describe our process because, of course, it can change uh, in the future. And, um, but we did an application and then we made the, the video of ourselves, a video interview. And then we had this personal interview with the one who was supposed to be our manager. And then we had these tests that, in general, comes in the beginning uh, of, of the graduate programs, I'd say, at least when I was applying uh, two years ago. But it comes in the end, as well as an interview with the HR department. Uh, so this was what it was looking like uh, when we applied. But the recruitment process is also, uh, you can read about, uh, upon it in, um, our uh, career website. There you can click Volvo Group, careers and graduate programs. You can read more about it there. What are the current graduate trainee doing now? Uh, does he mean us or? I think he means, it's a very good she? question. Yeah. I, because with this uh, pandemic coming and COVID, we had the uh, graduate program up running, but oh, they yeah. adjusted it and we're running it uh, virtually yep. and didn't do since we were restricted on travels and Volvo wants to take its responsibility of course and follow recommendations but we still do rotation but more locally and uh, d we definitely did not stop the graduate program what is the be best experience that you had uh, had in the trainee program uh, yes, I can start. Uh, for me, the best, best experience is, as I said before, the job rotations. It was so fun to travel to new countries, to meet new people with different experiences and cultures. Uh, so I went to Brazil for uh, one month and it was really amazing to have a possibility to be in Brazil and to see how Brazil works and everything. So I would say my job rotations was the best experience. Um, I, I totally agree, as I, I said in the presentation, and I, I was in Brazil at the same time as Carl, and, and it was uh, a lot of fun. We, we had a blast. Um, otherwise, I must say, I think the, the trainee program is a great bridge from going to studying your whole life, and now you're going to work like the rest of your life. So it's a great transition. As, as Carl said, it's a, it's a jumping board. Was that what you call it? It's really good, a really good start. Do we send applications in Swedish or English? Uh, Mine was in English, and I think it says in the application. I think English, but also here we would advise you to go into yeah. a Volvo Group career and search for graduate programs. Then you have all the information about that. So. Thanks a lot for all of your questions. Uh, please, let's stay in touch. Follow us on our social media, 
visit our career website and our Volvo student pool. Our time is up, uh, but we would love for you to join us in the future to shape the world we want to live in. And before we wrap this up, we would like to share the news that we got today. We were appointed the Swedish most popular Trinit program by Trinit Dagen. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really amazing. Thanks a lot, guys. See you out there. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.